I will present you the shake motion function and how to access to a remote control system. You know that uh, once upon a time uh, somebody invents that the shake of a device could be associated to some action. So uh, in the very first time uh, it was uh, programmed directly by using uh, core motion and it's quite difficult to understand such a function with a CM motion manager. But the ideas uh, appear to be good and Apple proposed to have it implemented directly in iOS. And in fact, it's handled by a component called UI Responder. And in fact, UI Responder can handle several things. First of all, first element was the shake, okay? And I will present it to you with an example. But you can also under remote controls, and I will present you how it works. Later on, we will see that still using UI Responder, you can uh, play with contacts on the screen, what we call touch and multi-touch. It works as an integrated protocol. Okay, so it's a protocol, but you don't have to explicitly declare it. And it's automatically accessible in UI view, UI view controller, UI application, because these classes inherit from UI responder. And in fact, when an event is catched by a given view, then, okay, uh, you can associate events, otherwise it continue, okay? And if it reach the main window, okay, then it's dropped. How do you capture events? First of all, you must become what we call first responder. And to do so, there is a method that is available in UI view, UI view controller, etc., etc., that is become first responder. And then you get the first responder. Of course, it's possible if the current first responder can drop his responsibility. Okay? And similarly, you can resign first responder and if you have to overload this function, then you always have to ask to super, okay? And there are some useful properties. For example, you have can become first responder, is first responder, and can resign first responder, okay? And so you can query these properties that are uh, read-only properties uh, to check if you can do things. And then there are three methods. Okay, that are in this protocol and then you just have to implement, to overload, okay? The first one is motion begun, okay? Uh, it will pass you the type of motion that is detected and uh, the event. Motion ended, same parameters, and motion cancelled, same parameters. So when you start the motion, okay, this method is activated. When it ends, this function is invoked and if it's cancelled this is this one so usually you start by begun and you end either by ended or by cancelled you have lots of event subtypes okay first of all none no event then you have motion check checking the device and then you have all the stuff that are related to uh, the uh, handling of a remote control control play control pause control stop, control toggle play pause, control next track, control previous track, begin seeking backward, end seeking backward, begin seeking forward, end seeking forward. So you can also use these when you have, for example, a headphone with a remote control, you can be able to catch such events. This is a standard uh, mechanism. Okay. So, as you see, it's super easy, okay? And it allows to deal with the remote control and to detect a shake in your device. I never tried the remote control, okay, personally, but uh, it seems to be quite easy. Uh, of course, you need to have a compatible remote command uh, and typically uh, the one of the headphone. But you have everything in hand to try with your headphones and play with it. We will see in a future video that it's also used for contact management. Thank you for your attention. See you later.